Hey guys, Kurt here at the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum, showing Tim around, giving him the grand tour. And one of the neat ones that we want to take a look at is this FJ56 fire truck. This is a 1979 model, and it's got a lot of really neat stuff. So when you come in, we'll take a close look at it. One of the fun things about it is the fact it is a soft door configuration, probably made so these doors could come on and off and be stored off in the warmer weather times of year, and then have a door in the winter time. You notice it's got a bench seat, kind of cool, be able to keep three firefighters in there. And this is a full working apparatus. So this truck has a full pressure system all its hoses on board, it's got hose reels, ladder racks, it's got all the goods. These are actually the original fire suits that came with this vehicle. So when it was surplus in Japan, it was surplus with the firefighter suits. We've got them here with the mannequins, kind of cool to see what they would have looked like. And back over to the Land Cruiser, uh, it's a really neat model, we'll pop the hood here. This has got a 2F motor in it. A carbureted 2F, which is a Toyota's really famous inline six. Had this motor for a lot of years through the 70s and into the 80s. These fire trucks were extremely well cared for because they were a service vehicle. They saw really low miles, but saw a lot of service stored inside. So the paint on this is all original. It does have a little bit of patina, particularly on the hood, but overall just in really phenomenal shape. So the frame's been really taken care of and painted. So manual steering, it does have power brakes, but this would have been a, uh, quite the sight to see this with a bunch of firefighters hopping out of it at a big fire in a city. Now this is an FJ56, which in the US we had the FJ55, so it's the same front end from the A-pillar Ford, but it would have been a four-door wagon, whereas this one is a two-door. But the whole back half was constructed by an outside company, so these weren't built by Toyota. They were sold as a cabin chassis for service vehicles, and there are quite a few different builders over the years that built the fire truck portions of them. So they're not all the same. You can find a lot of different configurations, kind of like wildland fire trucks, more like an urban fire truck. Uh, some that are bush, you know, bush fire trucks with water tanks on. So a lot of different neat configurations. Uh, this is the only fire truck we have currently at the museum, but always working on others. So there may be some future ones. So it's worth uh, coming down to peek at because it's such a unique piece of the museum. Really cool. Uh, I really love the pinstriping and the logos. Neat stuff. It was quite adorned. Close. I'll go back. To, I'm going to go back to you in a second. Okay. Close on where to find you. Okay. Uh, uh, websites like that. You bet. You can visit this at the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum in Salt Lake City, Utah, and you can find us on the web at www.landcruiserheritagemuseum or hm landcruiserhm.com or just Google Land Cruiser Heritage Museum. It'll pop right up. Hey, thanks for watching this video from the Total Land Cruiser Museum. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for more Pickup Truck Plus SUV news and different stories I do. Hit subscribe to follow along and find the playlist down below. There'll be a playlist of different museum videos I'm doing. Th again, thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.